Well, good morning, boys and girls. Oh, that's a lovely, lovely welcome. Uh, I'm Bernard, for those who don't remember me. I'm doing the kids' talk. Uh, I can't sing like Mr Bailey. I can't play the guitar like Mr Bailey. I can't draw like Mrs Morris or turn sheets of paper like Miss Promnitz. Uh, I can't do something like the Watts, which is always an extravaganza. But let me tell you something I can do. I can be organised. And sometimes people say I'm a little too organised, but that's okay. But when I go to look for something, I expect to find it where I think it should be. So I want to show you some things, okay? Uh, If I uh, go looking for milk, where will I expect to find it? In the fridge. Thank you, Alice said this morning, at a cow, which was the correct answer. (laughs) But yes, I expect to find milk in the fridge. If I go looking for my drill, where would I expect to find it? In the toolbox, that's right. Now, last one. If I go looking for my car, where would I expect to find it? Over here, Georgie. In the garage, that's right. So you go and look for something and you expect to find it in a certain place. Let me ask you a really tricky question. If I've had a friend that's passed away or died and I wanted to go and see them, where would I go and visit them? It's a tricky question, isn't it? It's a tough question. I'd go to the cemetery, wouldn't I? I'd go to the graveyard because they've been buried. If I expect to find them there, that's where I'll go to look for them. Well, three ladies saw Jesus die. Three ladies saw Jesus buried. Three ladies got up early one morning as the sun was coming up and thought they'd go and find Jesus to pay him respects. He's dead, he's buried. They expect to find him in a cemetery, in a graveyard. So they get themselves together and off they go and they're talking as they walk and they're wondering a whole lot of things. Then they get there and they find someone's beaten them. Someone's already there ahead of them. And that person's not dead, they're alive. And that person speaks to them. Mark chapter 16, don't be alarmed. You're looking for Jesus who was crucified. He's been resurrected. He's not here. See the place where they put him. Those ladies had seen Jesus die. They'd seen Jesus buried. They expected to find him in the grave, didn't they? When they got there, did they find him in the grave? No. There's a big problem. What was the big problem? Someone else was there and he wasn't. In fact, the big problem was even bigger than that. He wasn't dead. He was. He was alive. Is that a problem or is that good news? That's good news, isn't it? You see, I want you boys and girls to remember this. When mum and dad say, can you go and get me the milk for breakfast? You go to the fridge. If they say, can you go and get me the drill, you go to the garage. If they say, go and get ready at the car, you go to the car. Every time that happens, you go to where you expect to find that thing. I want you to think this. Don't go to a graveyard to find Jesus. He's alive. He's no longer dead. And we're going to think about that today, aren't we? Boys and girls, you've got a kid sheet that picks up some of the ideas. There's some words for you to listen to and you can pay attention as we work through the passage nudge mum and dad in the ribs and ask them some questions. I'm going to pray, then we're going to continue with our service. Let me pray. Dear God, thank you that you've ordered the world. So when we go to look for something, we expect to find it in a certain place. But thank you that you mucked that up that one great time when people went to find Jesus. He wasn't dead like they'd seen. He was alive. And it shows that our sins have been paid for. Father, thank you for that good news. Amen.